every time. Got nothing in my head. Set the microphone big greens and a flame fire. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our next contest of the evening. Three five minute rounds of fighting in the lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the red corner, this man is a grappler with a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. Fighting from Liverpool, England. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Fishko. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter with a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, and weighing in at 155 pounds from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeremy Ninja Pedley. When the action gets underway, your referee for this contest is Mark Goddard. So here we go, the first of potentially three, and there's a very good chance when we look at it purely on paper, Pierre, of this one possibly going to the ground fairly early. Yeah, both guys coming from very uh, heavy jiu-jitsu-based schools. Uh, Petley out of London Fight Factory, Chris Fishgold out of Next Gen MMA here in Liverpool. Um, both guys are, oh, no touch of gloves. Uh, big right round, Lance just missing the mark. Now look at that, fish gold immediately close down, just has the body lock. Leg trip, Petley down, fish gold is in that side mount position. This didn't surprise us, as we said, did we, Pierre? We had a feeling this is where it could be, and then see which man really is the stronger and better grappler. Yep, and that's where uh, both guys are get tested, and uh, like you said, we could have scripted this. And when you said Fish Gold went straight there, it's quite obvious really, four of his five wins by submission. This is how he feels most comfortable, but nice transition there from Petley. Yeah, Petley trying to get the knee in, create space to possibly go full guard. However, now he's all fours. Now look at the, Petley um, had an idea. You know, he went to all fours immediately, Fish Gold throwing in the hooks. However, immediately he rolls out of that. And, you know, very lucky to have, you know, only one uh, hook set in before he was able to get to his back. But a warning there for Jeremy Petley, the movement of Chris Fishgold. Immediately we see um, solid elbows there, but immediately looking for the submissions. Right. And both guys are moving at a very frenetic pace. Uh, no guy is, you know, laying and praying. Both guys are swiveling hips, doing everything that you would expect from a high-level jiu-jitsu player. And we have Petley on his back uh, with Fishgold in the top position, trying to swim in the punches. Now look at this, Petley, possibly going to get the top position. He needs to really work. He needs to work forward motion. However, Fishgold is able to throw the hip out. And Fishgold there for me, Pierre, was looking to use those punches. Now look at this, he's going for a pop. Possible 10 finger choke, if I can see correctly. Nope, he opts to move for the back. However, Petley immediately going to his back, not letting him set the hooks in for a potential submission. But for me here, it looks like that Fishgold's favorite sub, if you can look for it, is that rear naked, because even that ground and pound was an attempt to flip his man to his back. <laughs> now, the one thing that I'd like to mention is uh, it's a little bit of uh, a difference in body styles. Fishgold has the more compact, strong, kind of durable body type, whereas Petley has that long, lean, uh, very you know, long-limbed kind of body style. Uh, I think that each has its advantages. However, in the guard, I would expect that Petley would be able to better use, utilize those long limbs. So stood up for the first time since the opening bell. And fish guard again, the aggressor coming forward. And they, as you said, the body shapes are noticeably different when they're upright like this. Now Petley needs to start, you now Petley's not really using his footwork. He needs to be getting the jab working, working those lateral movements not allowing Fisco to close down that distance because Fisco, let's face it, he's already put his cards on the table. He wants the takedown. That's where he feels comfortable on the ground. Yeah, exactly in that southpaw stance. I said quite ungainly on the stand-up. I've got to be honest here, Pierre. Both guys are a little bit loose, and that may be just, you know, first-round jitters. Got to work those out, settle down into your striker. Uh, body lock again. Possible. Oh, now that was a turn of events. However, um, he tried to go for that leg trip. 
Petley uh, forced him down onto his back, but Fishko, with his presence of mind, was able to get the leg in through so he couldn't go full uh, mount on him. But for the first time, it's Petley in ascendancy. It'd be interesting to see what he can do now. And again, this time he goes, the fish goes back. Now that was a very good transition from front headlock all the way to the back of uh, Fishko. He's looking to possibly uh, use some ground attack. Look at that. Now back door. Fishko goes back door immediately. And look at this. He has the arm and head triangle right here. This could be the game ender. But look at this. He's defending that by using his leg to pull the arm down to create space so he's able to maintain and still breathe. So to summarize, which will be obvious to, to many, these are two very good technical men. It's almost like watching tennis, you know what I mean? One guy hits the ball across the net, the other guy hits it back to him. Um, but saying that, it is, um, you know, very technical. Uh, I love watching the groundwork. Now look at this here. Both hooks are set in. Petley is in deep trouble. However, the arm, the forearm isn't underneath the neck. How we're saying that. Now look at this here. He's going for a possible ankle lock. He's got under 30 seconds to do it now, and he's done it within the last 30 seconds of the round. Fishko gets the decision in round one and continues that winning streak. I know that Petley lost, however, I think both guys showed very good jiu-jitsu, very good groundwork. Um, Fishgold, however, you know, it was his time to win tonight. He was the better man on this evening. Now look at this, Petley, oh, look at the back door out there by Fishgold. Immediately he goes into that arm triangle, shifts the hips. Now, very good defense there by Petley. He's using his leg to keep the space. But again, this was uh, the beginning of the end. The forearms tucked underneath the chin, stretched out. There was nowhere for Petley to go on that. Yes, Chris Fishgold making a real name for himself and his Bama debut could not have gone better for this young man. He is now six and zero and a real face to watch out for. Now, Malcolm, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much for having me once again. This is where we have the Fight Professor taking over here at Bama. gentlemen referee Mark Gard has called a stop to this fight at 433 of the very first round declaring the winner by rear naked choke out of the red corner Chris Fishgold